Hey guys, we're at Walmart today. I um, talked about it in a different video, but I'm making a live well. Told bait, big fish, whatnot. We're in the plastic tub section. Um, you guys can follow this. I'm probably just gonna get this one. It's a little big, but it's the right depth. Maybe a foot depth. Where's the lid for it? A lid, I don't, you don't, you don't have to get a lid, but I'm just getting a lid because my bait will more than likely jump out. Um, okay, that's way too small. Um, I don't see a lid. I don't think there's a lid now. But you'll have to get bin of whatever size, paracord, or some sort of tethering device, rope whatnot, and pool noodle or something to make it float. I'm just making mine like this, but I'll be back once we have all the supplies. Okay, I'm in the section where all the rope is. I'm getting 550 paracord. This one is four bucks. Found a lid. This bin's 10 bucks. Noodle's a dollar. We're getting another noodle. It's not long enough, but this is the whole section I'm getting this one. 50 feet should be enough. I'm just using it to. I'm attaching the lid to this, putting a hole in here, somewhere right here, attaching the rope, but bends the boat with the rope. And then I'm tying the pool noodle along the edge in here. I'm gonna cut this off here. I'm gonna have a little slot to put bait through right here somewhere. I'm gonna tie the um, noodle to the edge so it doesn't fall off. But that's all I'm basically doing. I'm, I'm gonna be filming putting it together. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, just got back from the store. Got all this stuff here. This, I just, I just wanted a bucket. It was like two bucks, and I'm not passing up a two dollar bucket. I got two cool noodles, the paracord, lid, bin. I'm gonna attach the pool noodles along this edge. I'm gonna cut that off there. Each side, I'm gonna have that lid attached here with paracord. I'm gonna put a slot like that here. So I can just open it, drop the bait in, close it, bait won't jump out. But I got a knife, my fillet knife, it's sharp enough to cut, and a half inch. I'm just gonna put holes along the edge, along the bottom. That way it drains out. I can just pick it up and it, all the water will just go out and it won't weigh a whole bunch. It'll, it's, it's gonna be pretty light. And I'm gonna use rope. I'm gonna put a hole here and just attach it to the edge of the boat. But I'll be back once I have all the holes drilled. And I'll start working on the noodles. I just forgot the name of them. I'll work on that, but that's my rope. I'll be back. Okay, so after two pretty catastrophic failures, got it. They're not half inch. I can't remember what size it is, but when you press too hard, that happens, and that happens. But the trick with these, they're not too big, but you have to basically just let the drill sit there, and eventually it goes through, and then you have to pull it up. Press too hard, it'll crack. But... I'm, I got two sides done. I gotta get this side, this side, and then the bottom. So I'll be back when it's done. Alright, I've finished up all the holes. I've got them all on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but they're all on the side here. But now I have to cut this to size. I'm gonna put it along this edge. I'm gonna cut that, tie that down. I'm gonna split down the middle right here and have it push down. And then this lip right here will hold it on. And then I'm going to put holes along here and tie down with paracord. So I will be back when I finish with that. And we are, I am going to be testing it today with bluegills. I'm not going to be putting bass or shiners in it unless I get a shiner. But I'm going to put bluegill in it. So I'll be back when I finish with this. All right, I added the noodles on there. I got all these tied really tight. 
Now I am probably going to attach the lid to this edge and then cut the pieces out so that it goes around the noodle to the other edge. So I can just swing open and go down, not cause problems. I'll be back once I finish with that. All right, I'm back. I have attached it. It's loose, but that's good. And I figured out I can lock it without cutting these pool noodles, cutting this off. So that just saves time. So I'm just not gonna cut around the pool noodle. If it doesn't need to be done, then good. And I've already started making the outline of the lid. This is gonna stay. I'm gonna connect all these with the drill. And then I'm just gonna have a little latch. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I finished. I put a little leash on here. This will still clip down. So the weight of the water, it won't lift. I got a leash on there. For now, I have a big carabiner. I'm gonna get a different clip, but I'm just gonna clip it to the handle of the boat. I got someone here to fish with me. That's this pole. So we're gonna test it out today. I'll be back. All right, I'm in the boat. Got the clip on the handle. This is the first water test. I did, haven't put this in the water yet, but. It's sinking. It is very slowly sinking. I'll be back once we get a fish. It's recording, just point at me. All right, so we fished, me and one other person, we fished for a little bit. His name is Max, he's the one holding the camera. Um, we fished for probably an hour, hour and a half, and... Call all that. We caught some slabs of bluegill. Okay, I'm gonna dump them. But the live well works. It, the draining and all that works just like it's supposed to. Um, it did cost less than 20 bucks, so if you wanna go build one, they're pretty cheap. Um, that's it for today's video. See you later.